the first thing I want to do with the George family is to establish some house rules. I have here, get with the memo, okay? So it's a little British saying, we say get with the memo. And uh, this memo is all about house rules. So let's throw up some ideas. The house rules was something we really needed, something that has never been there. No yelling. How could we discipline somebody when they don't know that they broke a rule? The three parents filled out the rules, and then I had them explain it to the younger kids. Anna, how are you? The first house rule and this is for everybody. No cursing, no name calling. They seem to be in shock, like, what? We have rules in this house? We're gonna have rules? They were in disbelief. No getting on top of the furniture, no getting on top of the counters. What if I need to read something? Sofas. Ask. The demonstration of the memo, I think it is gonna work. Along the way, we're gonna derail from those, but we're gonna pick each other up. We're gonna get right back on the trail. Now with rules in place, these three parents do need to be taught how the timeout works and the importance of discipline instead of passing the buck. At snack time, I had the opportunity to teach Samantha how to give a proper warning to her little one, Chrissy. Hey, you don't say that, okay? Joe explained to us that when they break a rule or they're doing something bad, that you go down to their level, make eye contact. Hey, do you want me to put you in the naughty spot on the stairs? Do you want to sit there? Don't threaten it, but just move her around and say no saying that. If you talk like that, being rude, then I'm putting you straight on the naughty step, OK? So don't threaten it. Deliver what you're going to do if she continues. OK. So follow through on that with her. Hey, I'm going to sit you on the naughty step if you say that again. I don't want you to say that. That's a bad word, OK? Chrissy got the message pretty fast. And she stopped that behavior. And then Samantha went off to work, leaving Grandma in charge. But that's when Chrissy started to play up again. Ow! What, did, what did she do? She, I think she bit me or pinched You me. don't pinch Haley no. or bite. Or I'm going to put you on the naughty no, step. No, no, no. Nope. And when Chrissy kept hitting, it was time for Grandma to step up and follow through with time out. Sit her on the step. Come Explain on. what she said. Listen. Come on, you're gonna come sit on the naughty step because you were hitting Haley. Yes, come on, come on, come on. Sit her on the step, explain why she's there. Listen to Grandma. Listen, you don't hit Haley. You have to sit here. Because you hit Haley. Stay right here. Look, move away. Move away, set your alarm. It was kind of hard because that's my granddaughter. She's my baby. Walk her back. Come on, sit on the first step. No, we have no, no talking to her mum. No talking to her, just put her straight back on the first step. She kept crying after me and after me, and I just wanted to cry. Move away, just move away. Every time she'd cry out to me, it was hurting, breaking my heart. Mum, look, watch, look at her. I showed mum exactly what to do, and I took Chrissy by the hand and placed her on the step where she stayed for the two minutes. The two minutes are up, you go back and you explain again, OK? OK. Sorry, hugs and kisses, and then she can get back up again. Right. Grandma put you on the naughty step because you hit Hay because you hit Haley, OK? Tell oh, Grandma you're sorry. Say you're sorry. You're sorry? OK. Kisses. She still loved me. I disciplined her, and she still loved me. OK, let's go. You went. That just leaves Dad. He had an opportunity to discipline when his girls were playing outside. But he doesn't seem that interested in doing anything. Savannah's behavior, why do nothing about it? I am. I was just, I'm going to calm these girls down. Warning. Go that's, over and give that, her a warning. That's your warning, Go right there. Go over and give her a warning. These kids are fine. Go and give her a warning. Dad gave Savannah a warning about her bothering her sisters, but she didn't listen to him at all. And so he decided to take all of the girls inside and do what he thought was best, more talking. What I don't want you to think that it's okay to smack Haley. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Time out. She knows it's wrong right. to hit Haley. She does. But she does it anyway. I had a discussion with her yesterday. The discussion ain't working, mate. No disrespect or nothing, Glenn, but you've been using this chitter chatter, chitter chatter for how many years? Where's it got you with Savannah? Like, seriously, where has it got you with her? Dad just needed to stop talking and take action. So I decided to show him what that entails. Savannah, come here, please. On the step. Right now. I do not find it funny that you think it's okay to hit your sister. 
across the head. It's unacceptable behaviour. I expect you to sit here for 10 minutes and think about what you're doing. Because every time you behave that way, you are going to be disciplined. Do you understand me? I expect you to use your voice. Okay. That was a rude awakening, not only for me, but I think for Savannah. Just by what she demonstrated, that's exactly what Savannah needs. You've got to put action in. I don't want to hear too much talking. Yeah. Okay, you talk a good talk, but I want to see you walk a walk now. When Savannah's 10 minutes were over, we went back to wrap things up. So I do want you to apologize for your father, okay? And you do need to apologize to your sister as well, because it's unacceptable. You know, all I, all I want is, like... Follow the how, rules. How, how Follow the work. steps. Follow the steps. You can have a conversation about this afterwards, okay? Every time, every time that you... The steps, Glenn. The steps. Come Dad on. definitely needed a guided hand, but he did successfully complete the time out. Sorry. Won't happen again. He does still have a lot of work to do, though, so it's going to be interesting to see if he can pull it off. Sorry. Oh, OK. <laughs> After everybody had settled for a little bit, Dad went off to the basketball courts to practice. I'll see y'all later. Love you. Savannah, what are you doing? I noticed right away that Mum and Dad was letting the younger children run completely wild.